Welcome to your chakra yoga flow to cleanse your solar plexus, Mani Pura. Hi, I'm Allie. Welcome to my yoga channel. If you're new here, make sure you subscribe so you're always notified when a new class is live to support you. And if you're a returning yogi, welcome back. Thank you for continuing to practice with me. Now, everyone, please unroll your mat and let's start this chakra yoga flow to cleanse our Mani Pura chakra. All right, we're gonna start in a seated posture. So bring yourself into an upright position where you've got a lengthened spine. We'll begin with Kapalabhati or skull shining breath. This is a really great breath to move out mental clutter, mental indigestion, so we can reconnect to our personal power. The Manipura chakra is our power center. So Kapalabhati, some of you might know it, some of you might not, if you don't do your best, it is a snapping of the, dia the diaphragm on your exhale. So the exhale is active, the inhale is passive, and it happens naturally. Again, if you're new, watch me, pick up what you can, and then you can continue to practice. Bring your hands straight up into a V shape, tuck your fingers in, and let your thumbs point inward. We are replicating a triangle, strength, structure, stability here. We're absolutely trying to cultivate strength at our solar plexus chakra, Manipura. So inhale to three quarters of your capacity, and then you'll begin to pump your diaphragm actively. Follow me, let's begin. Keep going if the breath is smooth and stable, if it's feeling ragged and out of control, take a big inhale breath, release that breath, keep eyes closed, stay inside. If you're still going, go to your max, take a big inhale at the end, and we'll pause in a seated posture together. Everyone, please inhale, exhale, keep eyes closed down, pause, awareness at the solar plexus, the space between the navel and the sternum, the upper abdomen, the element is fire, this is your right to take action. It's here where you hone your power, your purpose, your distribution of energy, the actions you choose, self-discipline, mastery, which feeds into your self-esteem and confidence. Awareness at the solar plexus, the space between the navel and the sternum, the element is fire. Reach the hands back up again. Let's go for round two of Kapalabhati. So really strengthen your arms up into that V shape. Strength, structure, stability. Take three quarters of your breath capacity to begin and then pump your diaphragm actively with power and strength. Here we go. Go to your edge, take a big breath and then pause in a seat.
everyone seal your breath work, big inhale. Exhale, pause. Awareness at the solar plexus chakra, Manipura. The space between the navel and the sternum. Power, purpose, focus, self-discipline, mastery, distribution of energy, taking aligned action. Breathe here. This is a transformative energy center. We use heat, we use power, we use strength to activate it and manage that power that we create. Moving into seated twist, inhale, take the hands straight up to the sky, palms touch. Exhale over to the right, left hand comes across, right hand goes back, inhale back up through center. Exhale, twist left. Inhale through center. Exhale, twist right. Inhale through center. Exhale, twist left. Inhale through center. Exhale, twist right and hold. Lengthen up through your spine. Inhale back through center. Exhale, twist left. Hold here. Inhale, back up through center. Bring the hands down, meet me in a tabletop posture. Moving through barrel rolls. So the best way I like to explain these is imagining that your torso is like a spoon getting every last bit of peanut butter out of the peanut butter jar. So you drop the belly and then sweep your body around that peanut butter jar, getting into every last crevice. If you don't like peanut butter, maybe it's jelly, maybe it's Nutella, maybe it's honey. Just wrapping around yourself, rotating around yourself. Breathing as you do so, and then switch it up, move the other direction. Allowing yourself to feel into the movement. Removing any tendency to subscribe to perfection. Pause. Inhale into cow. Curl the toes under. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, cow. Soften the knees. Expand through the collarbone. Exhale, cow. Inhale again. Soften knees. Expand chest. Exhale, down dog. Two more. Inhale, soften the knees, meet me in child's pose. Let the hips go back, reach through the fingertips, lengthen through the side body. Pause, forehead connects to the earth. Inhale, lift your gaze just a bit. Walk your hands over to the left. Really reach through your side body and then settle back down. Breathing from right hip to right pinky finger. Inhale, lift the gaze, walk back through center and over to the right this time. And then settle back down, this time breathing from left pinky finger to left hip. Feeling the space you're creating through your side body. Come back up through center and meet me in downward facing dog. This time hold, arrange yourself, 
Push down through your hands, specifically the L shape, thumb and pointer finger. You can even grip the mat a little bit here. Firm the forearms, wrap the armpits towards the heart. I always like a healthy bend in my knees, sending my sacrum high to the sky, pushing down through the balls of my feet. You can absolutely work towards straightening your legs, do what feels right in your body today. And now gaze forward and slide your right hand in just a little bit and sweep your left hand through to catch the outside of your right lower leg. Maybe your ankle, maybe all the way to your heel. Okay, hold here and twist under yourself. Gaze at your right armpit, send your right hip back. And switch, bring the left hand down and sweep the right hand through. Send the left hip back as you rotate under yourself and gaze up towards the left armpit. Release the right hand, downward facing dog for a breath. Inhale to gaze forward, tiptoe your feet to the top of the mat. Inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale and fold. Inhale, root to rise, come all the way up. Exhale, hands down through heart center and by your side to Dasana, mountain pose. Inhale, sweep the arms high. Exhale, fold through your midline. Inhale, lift up halfway. Lengthen from root to crown. Exhale, step back to plank. Lower slowly to the belly. Inhale, cobra pose. Exhale, downward facing dog. Whole breath here. Inhale, gaze forward. Tiptoe step or hop if you feel ready. Lift up halfway when you arrive. Exhale and fold. Inhale, root to rise. Exhale, hands down through heart center. Inhale, arms high. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale, step back plank, either lower to the belly or lower to chaturanga. Inhale, cobra or upward dog. Exhale, Adho Mukha Svanasana, downward facing dog. Whole breath here. Inhale, gaze forward. Make your way to the top of the mat. Lift up halfway. Exhale, fold. Inhale, come all the way up. Exhale, hands down through heart center. Inhale, sweep the arms high. Exhale, fold through the midline. Inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale, step back to plank or hop to chaturanga, lower to the belly. You choose cobra or up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale to gaze forward. Exhale your way, top of the mat. Lift up halfway when you arrive. Exhale, fold. Inhale, root to rise, come all the way up. Exhale, hands down through heart center. Inhale, the arms high. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale, step the right foot back. Soften the knee down. Inhale, lift up, low lunge. Exhale, plant the hands. Step back, downward facing dog. Inhale, step the right foot forward. Listen carefully. As you step the light right foot forward, rise up, high lunge, crescent pose. Firm the foundation, lift up. 
Exhale, hands to heart center, twist over towards the right. So use the strength of your core to rotate the trunk of your body and bring the left elbow to the outside of the right knee. Connect here. Push elbow into knee, knee into elbow. Keep lifting and lengthening through the back left leg. Reach all the way through the crown of the head. Inhale. Exhale to bend the left knee and step up to Utkatasana. Keep the twist. Hold here. Bring the hips down. Make sure they're not wonking out to one side or the other. Nice and neutral here. Keep lengthening through the crown of the head. Inhale. Exhale, step the left foot back into crescent pose. High lunge, keep the twist. And now soften the left knee down. Awesome work. Reach the fingertips high. Low lunge, exhale, plant the hands. Step back, downward facing dog. Inhale to plank. Exhale, chaturanga or to the belly, cobra pose or up dog. Exhale, back downward facing dog. Inhale, gaze forward, make your way to the top of the mat. Lift up halfway when you arrive. Exhale, fold. Inhale, root to rise. Exhale, hands down through heart center. Inhale, reach the arms high. Exhale, fold through the midline. Inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale, step the left foot back. Soften the knee down. Inhale, rise up, low lunge. Exhale, plant the hands. Step back, downward facing dog. Inhale, step the left foot forward. Preparing for high lunge, crescent pose. Firm the foundation. Lift up. Exhale, hands down through heart, twisting to the left now. So use the strength of your core to rotate your trunk. The right elbow comes to the outside of the left knee. Take your time here, connect. Knee into elbow, elbow into knee. Really engage the back leg. Gaze down, you're stepping into Utkatasana. Bend the back knee, find Utkatasana. Sit the hips nice and low. And slowly begin to step back into this twisted high lunge. Slowly step the right foot back. Find your high lunge twisted posture. Then soften the right knee. Unwind, reach up, low lunge. Exhale, plant the hands, downward facing dog. Inhale, plank pose. Last vinyasa. A whole breath in down dog. Soften the knees. Coming into Ardha Matsya Andrasana. So bring the legs in front of you. And let's start with the right leg tucked underneath us. So right knee bends, right heel goes towards the left glute. The left foot plants on the outside of the right thigh here, okay? This left hand goes back as a kickstand. Reach the right arm high. Twist over to the left and bring your right elbow to the interior here. And then sit up nice and tall. If this is difficult or doesn't feel good, you can wrap your right arm around your left thigh, okay? So do what feels best for you. Do maintain length in the spine. Do maintain engagement in the core and start to twist around yourself, gazing over your left shoulder. Breathing. Awareness at Manipura, the space between the navel and the sternum your personal power center.
Last breath. Unwind, come back through to center. Bring your fingertips behind you and switch the crossing of the legs. So the left leg's underneath, the right leg's on top, and the sole of the foot is planted on the outside of the left thigh. The right hand goes back as the kickstand. Inhale the left arm high. Exhale, twist through your abdominals. Twist from your abdominals and then decide, am I bending the elbow and finding this twist variation or am I wrapping my arm around my thigh and finding this variation? You choose the best one for you. Lengthen up through the spine and start to twist around yourself, gazing over your right shoulder. Awareness at the solar plexus. I am strong. I am powerful. I live on purpose. I take action that matters. I direct my energy. Last breath here. And unwind through to center. Extend the legs long one more before we get down to the ground. Extend the legs long for seated staff pose. Dandasana, flex the feet. Reach the fingertips high up to the sky. Big inhale, reach through the inner elbow. Exhale to shift the tailbone under you as you hollow the belly. Reach the fingertips forward and lift the toes in line with the hairline. Boat pose. This is your exhale. Inhale, drop your heels, drag them forward as you reach the fingertips high. Exhale, boat pose. Inhale, heels drop, drag them forward, lift. Exhale, boat pose. Two more. Last one. Hold boat with me. Lift up. And lower all the way down to the ground. Knees bent, feet planted, arms out to a T. Bring your feet together. Let the feet, or sorry, let the knees fall over to the left, but only to a hover. So hover the legs, bring them back up through center, hover them over to the right, back up through center, over to the left, back up through center, over to the right, back up through center. This time over to the left, hover, and let the knees fall to the earth plane. This left hand can rest on your hips. If you wanna make any adjustments in your supine twist, please do so. Bring the legs back up through center and over to the right. Again, make any adjustments to your supine twist. And bring the legs back up through center, extend them long, hip width distance or wider, preparing for Shavasana. Feet splay out, relax your arms down by your side. Awareness at Manipura, the solar plexus, the element is fire. This is your personal power center. 
Begin to inhale from the navel to the crown and exhale crown to navel back down. Inhale navel to crown, exhale crown back down. Repeat this 27 times, counting backwards from 27. If you lose count, allow yourself to ease into Shavasana. If you make it to one, amazing. Allow yourself to also ease into the experience. Inhaling navel to crown, exhaling crown to navel back down, counting backwards from 27. Begin to deepen your breath, awareness at the solar plexus, the space between the navel and the sternum. Feel the rise and fall. Feel the expansion and the contraction as you deepen your breath and awaken your physical body. When you feel ready, turn onto your favorite side for fetal pose. Pause here, recognize your personal power, your ability to take action that matters, to direct your attention with your will, to manage your energy appropriately. To build your self-esteem through self-discipline. As you sit up to a seat, you can say to yourself, I am powerful and I live on purpose. Keep the eyes gently closed down, hands in prayer at the heart. We'll chant the Manipura Chakra Ram three times together. Inhale to prepare. Ram, Ram. Ram. A whole breath to anchor. When you feel ready, open your eyes. 
Welcome back to the physical space. I hope you feel calm, but also powerful and like your fire has been lit and you're ready to take action that matters. Thank you for joining me for this chakra yoga flow to cleanse your solar plexus. If you haven't already, come join my seven day chakra yoga challenge. The link is in the description below and I'll meet you back here to continue creating transformation on and off the yoga mat.